Oh, I didn't see you there. Come join me, won't you? Thank you. Alexander P. Camille. Missed call. Well, let's call him. Video call. I'm trying to answer. <laughs> I can hear you. I think we got it now. Oh, good. I can see you. Oh, good. Good, now, good. Put in my earphones. Hang on. Okay. One earphone in. Left earphone in. I can see you on your monitor. That's right. There you are. <laughs> You can see me okay? I can see you, yep. Beautiful. Silly question. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I want to check with you on March. Uh, I have a vacation from the 20th, actually from the 19th to the 26th of March. Yeah, I'm going to write this uh, down. Eight days. Okay. So if in and around there, you can make it down to here, we'll have a great time. I'll take you all over the place. And if you need to stay in the hotel, I got that covered. But Tata Ox wants you to spend a couple of days with her as well. Definitely. Chat. Yeah. And if you want to spend the whole time over there, you know, it'll save you on hotel bills. You can cook your own food. You'll have a wonderful conversation. She's got super, super duper cable. Uh, you can watch practically anything as far as that goes. Yep. And uh, <clears throat> she has a car, so she can take you anywhere. But I can, uh, well, I'll be available 24-7 for that particular uh, time, so I'll, I can be your chauffeur as well. That's good, because I want to spend lots of time with you. We've uh, I had so many years apart, and uh, I've got so many musical questions, and uh, I I want to get to you know get a chance to you know go over lost ground essentially. It's going to be fun. It's beautiful over there too, but it's hotter. <laughs> well, it's going to be March. I saw a temperature map already of uh, Florida, and it's the hottest place in, in all of the United States right now. It's in the, like 26 or something Celsius. Yep, it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's minus 7 outside. <laughs> it's minus 7. It's cold. <laughs> yeah. Shalik weather, you know. You'll see. You'll see. And then I have, I have a, 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 an extra sweater in case you need one. Uh, it'll fit you with no problem. Uh, just in case, bring a light jacket. You're, you're not that's at the maximum that you're going to need, just a light jacket. Okay. Um, put that in your suitcase. Uh, oh. and, and, uh, once, once we get to the airport, you can take the jacket off and you'll ride around in a t-shirt. Nice. I remember last time I was down there was, what, 2007 at the start of my health profession career? Um, yeah. where I went down and I couldn't wear even a t-shirt with the, with the jacket that I had underneath. It was just too hot. Uh, and uh, uh, the rain just clears out in 15 minutes and it's gorgeous sunny weather again. Uh, staying at Tata's place, uh, saying hi to David, um, swimming in her pool, you know, um, having a good time seeing you guys, going to a restaurant. Uh, yep. Yeah, that was good times. Well, it's been, I'm what, 15 years since. Yeah, I'm going to take you to a special restaurant called Waldo's. It's right on the ocean. And it's got great seafood, regular stuff. Sorry, where's Waldo's? Yeah. W A L D O apostrophe S. I couldn't Look resist. It up online. Waldo's in Vero Beach. Okay. Vero Beach. That's that. Yeah, you have an apartment there in Vero Beach. Yeah, you're gonna like it. W A L D O apostrophe S. Okay. Maybe I'll go online and check out the menu. You're gonna like it. It's about maybe a 15 minute drive from here. Okay. Are you calling from home right now? I'm calling from home. Yep. Okay, nice. Yeah, you got things. Uh, okay. This is my studio apartment. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> you got everything you need. You're organized. You have a stereo receiver and records and speakers. 
Yeah, I got my big speakers over here. Okay, good. These. And they're Bose, B-O-S-E. Yeah, that's expensive. Five speaker system. It, boy, I'm telling you, it's powerful. It's that's so important. You have your little um, uh, Superman's hideaway. Exactly. Fortress of Solitude. Exactly. It's not so much solitude as privacy. And nice people. They're, they're they're all over sixty-five. There's this one lady from Venezuela. Her name is Aida, like the opera. Oh yeah. And uh, she's she's eighty-two. Doesn't look it. Has she ever been stuck underground? Is what underground? <laughs> Has she ever been stuck underground? Sorry, spoilers for Aida, the opera. Oh, no, no, no. I don't listen much to opera except uh, in the car. I have a, uh, whatchamacallit, I bought a new system that has a USB port. Okay. Plus it's Bluetooth. We're gonna ha you're going to have fun fooling around with it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, what kind of music are you listening to these days? Is, well, I'm sorry, try it again. What kind of music are you listening to these days? Oh, just everything. I have <laughs> uh, I have a computer, my old, uh, it's uh, from 2010 yet. Uh, it's an old Toshiba. And I have 63 gigs worth of music on it. Yeah. So I bought a used, uh, a used uh, iPod with 80 gigs capacity. Nice. And I took it to a, a nearest, near Tactical Ultra's place. There's a guy who fixes iPhones and computers and stuff. Took it to him. Yep. He's going to... Uh, going to make sure my computer works and then he's going to transfer all the music from the computer that I have stored on there onto the iPod. Yes. And then, I, then I can just plug that into the radio. Very nice. Into the dash and you can just listen to whatever you want. Do you do you make your own playlists? Yeah. Good. You will see. You will see. You're going to have so much to look look forward to, look around, inspect. <laughs> I'm curious. I'm just going to go through all your stuff like I used to when I was a kid, going through all your records and pulling out albums after albums or tasks me. Do you remember those uh, magnetic tapes we used to you used to do all the dubbing with? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I, remember. I was playing with Legos yeah, and you were doing your dubbing. It's easier now, isn't it? <laughs> oh gosh, digital? Absolutely. It's so much easier. Although some people say that when you, when it's all digital, you lose that um, that fi um, that low fidelity. Um, people yeah. say that when you put on a record player, you're hearing the pops and fizzes, or when you hear things through a magnetic tape, it sounds warmer, quote unquote warmer. Uh, that analog yeah. sound, and it's still done in some recordings for if you want that uh, high end thing. But everything's digital now because the transfer of data, digital data, is just so easy. You can go across miles. You don't have to. Yeah, it's that's just the the future it is now. Uh, we are going to have a lot to talk about. We will be going into the late evening. <laughs> good, good. I've got uh, some questions about you know how you got into music. I'm so looking forward to that. And uh, how Taras got into music through you. How you have perceived my musicianship as I was growing up. And uh, yeah, we're going to have some good conversations. I hope we get to it on, on tape and video too, if you don't mind. And like I said, I have a piano here in the clubhouse. Ah, good. Go in there. Yeah, we can do some work there. Absolutely. And so if I have my travel guitar with me, then at least I'll be able uh -huh. to do the recording with that. So I'll definitely be bringing my travel guitar. And I still got my classical guitar. It's under the bed. Oh, nice. Perfect. So we, we could do a duet or work kind of stuff together, or you could do the guitar and I could do the keyboard. We'll jam, for sure. Well, for me... I would try to answer any of your musical questions that I possibly Yeah, can. like well, when I, I've been working on scales and I've been working on uh, complementary chords and I've been coming up with like, uh, um, like chord progressions and I'm wondering like how does this scale fit here when I, when I have a certain combination of notes and then I play um, like a chord progression with those notes up on a, on a higher register, it fits or it yeah. doesn't fit. And I want to know why. And I figured out a I whole bunch of things. Yeah, exactly. I figured out a few things. And if you could verify my ideas, that would be fantastic. And if you've got suggestions of where I can take it to the next level, um, okay. then that would just be fantastic. Also, even I vocal stuff. For you already. Go online into YouTube and put in jazz progressions. 
jazz progressions. And chord progressions. Okay. You'll see one follows the other, one doesn't follow the other, but I'll explain that to you when you get here. That'd be great. That'd be great. Yeah, I already know uh, some basic stuff like uh, different modes. I know um, uh, the circle of fifths and, and a few things like that, uh, and I've applied them. Uh, I'd like to play for you some of my ideas. That would be beautiful. We could also go over some vocal stuff too, because I've got like a four octave range, um, and uh, there's a few things that I would like to know about how to maintain a voice. And you've been singing for uh -huh. such a long time, ever since you were in university, and then Burlaka. Uh, uh, teaching us, uh, Taras and I, how to sing soprano and alto parts when we're doing the, the Chrysostom um, Holy Liturgy. So I'm sure you've got a whole bunch of amazing knowledge that I can actually apply for the, su the stuff that I, I want to do. amazing, but knowledge, experience. Exactly. Because experience is better than knowledge. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fine. Uh, Taras has a couple of good tips. Uh, see, my voice is different from his voice. When he sings, he has to lift his head up ah, high like this for his high note. Ah. Yeah. I'm the other way around. I put mine down. And I remember yours, okay? When you sang um, Every Inch of My Love in the Back of the Car <laughs> when you were <laughs> rocking away with Angie and me. Yes. <laughs> you, all you did was open your mouth. The other thing that is uh, in my memory, you sang uh, the anthem from Chess. Oh I my gosh. I love that song. Yeah. I love that song. There's a guy, uh, his last name is Dixon. I can't remember. He's a black fellow. And you should hear this guy sing opera, and he sings blues, and he sings gospel. Yeah. And he's got this version of chess that'll just blow you right away, because it did for me. Uh, Roderick, R O D R I C. Roderick Dixon, D I X O N. Okay. Look, look him up. I think you, you might check out the way he opens his mouth, because he goes up to a high D. What? Not just a high C, a high D. That's impressive. At the end, at the end now he does, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the, the anthem in the key of D, that's standard, okay, with two sharps. I would like to do it half a step higher in E flat, but he does it in D, and one of the, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, uh, YouTube recordings, he does it in the key of D, and then ends it with a high D. Whoa! Impressive! Then he's part of a trio called Three Mo, M-O apostrophe, tenors. There's another little concert <laughs> I want you to look at. Okay. Because if you like blues, and, and uh, what you call it starts off with La Dona Immobile. Da, 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 da. Yep. And one of the three tenors does that one. And then they go into some, doing some blues and jazz, and uh, uh, I, I can't remember whether they did the George Gershwin or not. But I'm okay. telling you, the whole concert is just wow. Just wow. Three Mo tenors, and then Roderick Dixon. Enjoy. Enjoy. You'll learn. Thank you. you see these guys singing, watch the way they open their mouth or how they hold their head. Because with Roderick Dixon, he's more like, he wants to take a bite out of it. I could never do that. I always had to drop my jaw down so I could open my throat. And now I'm practicing in the car. <clears throat> and I'm getting high notes that I never had before. Oh, <laughs> really? What I do is I just do this. <laughs> it's horrible sounding. But I got the high, I got the high B and a high C. That's good. Well, if you have a, you know, yeah, also the, the keyboard in front of you <laughs> that can warm up. Uh, one of my most recent projects that I did was uh, one of the lab technicians. She broke her wrist, but she plays piano at the Anglican Church, so she needed to do her own little physiotherapy. So I got a book I got from a thrift store called uh, Oxford Book of English Madrigals, and okay. I picked out a couple. And uh, she says, okay, well, I'll meet you down at the local, uh, at the church, and uh, it'll be just you and me, and we, uh, I will figure out the song, and that way you can practice what I'm playing, because I can't sight read very well at all. And so I was able to sight read with her playing the piano, um, as if I was five years old again, you know, having someone else singing and me being able to follow along with the notes. And then I took my YouTube, and so my YouTube, my um, uh, GarageBand program on this iPad Mini that that I'm using with your image on it, and I'm I recorded all four lines and then played them together, and it sounds fantastic. 
There you go. Yeah, it was yeah. really, really nice to be able to uh, practice and then record and then hear myself doing four parts, three cantos and uh -huh. the bass part. It was really, really neat as an experiment. And I've got maybe about... I did that when I was 19 with two tape recorders. Oh, you were doing... <laughs> really? My own male choir. You were, you were, you were like, uh, banging tracks between two tape recorders. I had to coordinate two reel-to-reel -reel, uh, recorders. Really? So I did the first tenor and the second tenor on one reel. While that was playing, I recorded the baritone part. And then while that was playing, uh, I shut off the baritone part and recorded the bass part. Yeah. And then the hardest part was trying to get the things coordinated so they both started exactly the same time. That's right. That was tough. <laughs> <laughs> what songs did you sing? Pardon? Do you remember the pieces? Oh yeah, it was called. Uh, it was a. Uh, it was one of Borniansky's choir pieces that we that I sang uh, in Detroit. Okay. Hospode hospode silu It was one of the Borniansky's concerti. Hospode hospode silu yutvoyeu. And it goes on like that. And I did all three set, all three movements. Wow. Fun. I did. It took like hours. Well, but yeah. I got so concentrated on doing stuff. Yep. I, I wasn't ADD then. <laughs> <laughs> and I found out that I was ADD from the time I was a kid because I didn't need very much to distract me. When Miss Rudy, when I talked to her back when you were like third grade, yep. and she says, I don't understand Adrian. Uh, I, he finally raised his hand to answer a question. I said, oh, Adrian, what, what's the answer? You looked over at the Mrs. Rudy. Did you know that there was a spider who was spinning a web in the corner of the window? Ah, uh, yeah. You weren't paying attention to her at no. all. You were watching with the spider. And I was like that as a kid, too. Yeah. So you were cursed from your father. <laughs> the important thing now about your sight reading ability, when Taras started uh, music, he started on keyboard. Larissa started on keyboard. When we got you started on keyboard, but you were too enamored with the keyboard. No, I hated it. Something else, so we got you to get start. When yes. you listen, okay, in your early years, you're starting to hear the harmony already. Oh, yeah. You're playing harmony. Yeah. All right? I learn everything by ear. You get chords, but you can't play guitar like you can piano yeah. unless you got two guitars. Yeah, that's right, so yeah. What happened is you learned your harmony and your sight reading a different way. Yep. Now keep practicing, and you'll get you'll get it. You'll start hearing the harmony and how your voice that you are singing out now fits into the harmony. That's why we sang in the car. Yes. Hard harmony. The natural Remember harmony. That? Yeah, and that was fun. Yeah. And again, five voices, and Taras always improvised another one. Yes. I, Mama took this, I think Mama took this, uh, the main voice, and Larissa, or, 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 or Larissa took the high voice, Mama took the alto, I took the tenor, I think you took the bass, the lowest part, and then Taras did whatever he wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> but it was fun. <laughs> the long car rides was a lot of practice. That was good. A long time ago, but memories, and they're still there, and I can still hear you, uh, you guys. I can still hear your voices, I, and I still have a van, too. Anyway, but, uh, Adrian, you have a wonderful, wonderful evening, because for you it's only like 6 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to chill chill out, uh, watch TV for another half hour, and then I'm out. Uh, if you want to call me tomorrow, same time, perfect. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to phone Angie now, because it's almost 8 o'clock. Tell her I say hi. Oh, I will, absolutely, okay? All right, ah, okay. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fun. All right, so. See you later, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Angie. Bye-bye.